Hey guys, how's it going? This is COVID from Coda COVID YouTube channel and welcome back to another video tutorial on Python and 3.7 programming and it's a kind of happiest thing ever, an exciting moment to see Python 3.7 released and Guido Van Rossum uh, posted in her his sorry in his uh, Twitter that tweeted about uh, Python 3.7 uh, released and he said that Python 3.7.0 is released bring out the celebratory levitation uh, thanks um, Bay Breeze and thing and a cast of thousand on Python Dave and GitHub so he posted some uh, this tweet and uh, it's a cool moment to see this one and thanks Python team and uh, I mean uh, Guido Van Rosen and he is doing more better and better and uh, soon Python 4 is also coming and I will be up uh, giving you update about all of these and I am planning of doing something exciting I am going through machine learning and mathematics and AI in this channel so don't ever forget to subscribe this channel and I am also pu uh, putting the freelancing course on with programming uh, with programming on Python you can also do freelancing and I will tell you all those and <coughs> it's uh, great to say that we have uh, passed our 300 subscribers over here you can see we passed our 300 subscribers and it's already more than 300 and that's good so and we will see something cool over here and this is our python 3.7 documentation and i am all, i was also seeing and i thought of making a video uh, to give you some knowledge about it okay and i jumped over to pip 567 in which uh, they have told us about uh, just a minute data classes and uh, I will put the link of this one in the description box below you can directly check it out and uh, yeah over here data classes so I had uh, done uh, this and here I had coded over here okay so there uh, i will try to simplify this all the things just we imported the new library of python 3.7 and main thing that if you haven't uh, downloaded python 3.7 there are two ways to download it first of all go to terminal and uh, type this pip install sorry install python double dash upgrade and by this if you are not satisfied with newer version it will uh, automatically uh, do it but mine is already done so another method is python.org slash downloads I recommend this method because uh, there will be uh, ideally for you and here downloading and uh, installing method I have already made a video on how to install it okay so let's jump over to this so we uh, after installing python 3.7 we just imported this data from data classes um, library we imported data class method and over here what i did is just uh, f um, formatting of string and we have to format this this x and y so I will describe all this in, in the last of this video and I created two uh, classes and this is our standard classes of Python 3.6 and 3.5 and 3.4 and 2.5 and like that this is the standard one and this is the newer one data classes so we uh, what we did if you haven't go uh, check it out my OOP class 2 there are about classes and methods and here and, and all the things and I will be uploading more and more and over here we uh, passed a self and we passed two variables with initial values of zero and y of initial value of zero and self dot x 
and we did it and we defined the formatting of string of this one okay and that's our normal uh, normally done standard class now over here this is data class and this is our data class so we imported our data class from here and uh, without doing this you can't do this and after doing this we uh, created our class called data class and here it accepts x and which type uh, data types primitive data types i have already made the video on it primitive data types so if i do over here in teaser or int and let's check int And when I hover over to this, you can see over here x is written. And these are the initial values. And we should not do this much. And data class makes it simple by just for this watch. And it's time saving for programmers. And this is same. We are returning the string in formatted form. And we created four variables one of the initial value without any of this if we don't pass any variables it will uh, put the uh, automatically put the initial value and if we pass the para uh, parameter it will put this value so this is x and this is y and we s created the same and output will be also same let's check and this is video studio i am using it if you want to do and over here you can see both are same this prints a1 a2 b1 b2 a1 a2 b1 b2 so it's kind of good and this um, it's not about uh, this much only there are lots of libraries and other things and if you don't understand any of the library you can comment me down below and I will make the video on it and now I am thinking of going through AI and machine learning in, uh, in this Kodakobi channel and uh, I will be giving away some cool stuff for programmers and others uh, useful for programmers and uh, something for our subscriber after I cross 500 subscriber it's just 302 so it's near just 198 are left and it will I will we will achieve it very fast so it was all for today and thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys like this video if you guys do like please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to subscribe uh, like this video share this video so that all of your programmer friends can know about python 3.7 release so if you don't share, share and uh, none of the um, there will be less amount of people to know about python 3.7 so share as much as you can if you don't share then you can um, lose very much big things like your friends will not understand and you can also not understand because uh, who, who knows and if you don't share then if you share this video you will be interested in that topic and you will find find more and i love you all guys please hit that subscribe button thank you guys for watching this video i'll meet you in the next one